All right, hello everyone. I'm kind of putting, making a sneaky one in the gym where I've started going again. I'm going to try and make myself look a bit more sportish. But today I wanted to make a quick one on the subject of open palm strikes because like you got lots of people talking about how like sh this stuff doesn't work, how it's horrible and how you need to learn to punch with the fist. And probably a good point, you do need to learn to punch with the fist. I hope the music is not killing the sound. But does actually, how much open palm strikes are actually better? than punching with the fist and why you should actually learn striking with an open palm right there's a bag behind me right like I say it's a sneaky one and usually when people st speak about an open palm strike right kind of speaking about similar to the stuff that Bath Rutten was talking about where it's like this Boom. Right, this big strike to like about this area of the face, right, to knock somebody out. Right, it's a good point. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's kind of a very limited idea of an open palm strike, right? So, usually when people from like traditional martial arts talk about open palm strikes, they're not talking about this one. They talk about something more like this. Let me just display it, right? As you can see, I can put quite a bit of power into this one just on a very short distance. Why can I do this? Well, it's because if I hit with a fist, and again, like nothing wrong with sitting with a fist, the problem is this my fists are not very well trained i have not spent years and years developing my strength of the fist strike to do it correct all the time right essentially my arm is gonna go like this same goes for about most of the people right unless you're a professional fighter it's very hard to learn to punch properly right so how does the open palm strikes happen well they happen with this part of the arm and essentially you land in it here right you don't slap you put and you go right you can generate a lot of power like this simply because it's as if you're pushing somebody away it doesn't feel as if you're making as much power as you do when you're hitting with the fist simply because if you hit with the fist it hurts more like it literally hurts more like there's lots of little things in there which generally hurt when you hit with the fist especially if your fist is not wrapped up you know it's like it doesn't have like lots of things putting it together and you put in like like this Unless you land a really clean shot, your fist is gonna hurt. Your hand, hand is gonna go sideways. Not a very nice feeling. And yes, you need to learn with a strike with a fist, but an open palm is a bit more open. So people say, okay, cool, you can't do as many strikes with the palm as you can do with an open fist. Well, with a fist, well, actually, it's bollocks. It's a lie. So let's just do a simple one, two with an open palm. Why, well, if you have seen, like, I'm actually missed a cup, didn't put as much, but I could put in same power. It was same one, two, one, jab, right jab, same as with the fist. Same as with the fist, same as with the palm, right? Right, but I can actually generate more power with the landing of my, of my palm because my jab here is not limited, right? To the fist of motion. Cross. 
we can see the cross was the fist, cross was the palm. It's exactly kind of very same motion. Right, so when people talk about, hey, you, can, you can't do the same amount of damage with an open palm as you can do with a fist, they don't, they either lying to you intentionally or they don't know what they're talking about. Like quite often many people don't really think about how much power you can actually generate with these strikes. Right, I mean, I do, I, I do mostly, like my preferred martial art is Aikida and one of the Aikida favorites. Okay, we're just gonna have to use a bit of imagination, right? We're gonna imagine that this bag is throwing a right hook at me, right? So I have to block it here. See, I have to block it here, right? And it's, it's a particular entry in Aikida, right? As you block here, you strike here. In Aikida, it's called a tami. You do a tami mostly with an open palm to, your, to somebody's beard, to this area of the face, or you can go for the throat if you're really nasty. Right, these, these areas are aimed at not really knocking somebody out, but to cause the flinching effect so that you can then do something else whether it's a throw whether it's just a simple other takedown and we're gonna look at the kind of power you can generate in a very short distance by putting an open palm and driving your entire body in that particular strike right very short and see what it generates. How far can I push that back? I mean, I'm a big guy, right? So, let's do the experiment. But again, I'm stepping in. I'm blocking and stepping in and striking. All that happens at the same time, mind you. So I have to do lots of things at the same time. Defense. I can generate lots of power and I'm not worried about how do I land my strike. It's very simple. Boom. 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 Even if I go overhead, it doesn't matter because it's a hard, very hard surface. It progresses lots of all your energy goes through here. You don't have that to worry about. You don't have these to worry about. Just bang. Right? Same thing if he throws a left kind of hook. Right, so I block, come in, open palm, right? I don't swing much, I don't. Can you do similar stuff with the fist if you're very well trained? Yes. Most of us, I have to admit, are not very well trained. We're not. We generally suck. We don't spend like eight, nine hours a week, eight, ten hours a week in a boxing gym. Most of them, most of the normal people will be lucky to spend like six hours a week in a gym. Now, do Aikido sessions, are Aikido sessions good for learning that stuff? Well, they're good for learning about this stuff. But a lot of that stuff is left on your own kind of thing for you to train yourself or to find places to learn them. That's probably a mistake Aikidokas need to change for their training schedules. But there we go, we have that one. Let's try another one. Now this one, right, we're gonna imagine that the bag is throwing straight. Well, we're gonna go for a jab. So there's a jab coming here at me, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move out of the way, creating a block. So boom, I block. 
at the same time I'm hitting here, right? It's a very akidoka thing to do, right? It's called a tammy, like I said. A tammy generally means strike. Shit, I can see my nipples on this thing. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> but there we go. Well, let's try it, right? But again, I can generate a lot of power by turning in and not worrying about what, how to land this or this or that. Right, the power is generated through the footwork, right? It's not generated by my hand. It's by literally turning my body, keeping the hand reasonably close to me and just driving the punch strike with my entire body, right? I'm not gonna be showing it all together because right now I'm just talking about a palm strike. So similar stuff, he throws a big cross, right as you can see right moving offline right so if it's coming at me here moving offline keeping yourself safe boom by simply turning my body i can already generate a lot of power if i do my footwork right there will be even more power but, as I said, this is a basic idea about the things you can do with an open palm strikes and how they could be used. Essentially, you can do the same strikes, like I said, whether it's a jab, whether it's a cross, a hook, an uppercut. Right, you can do all them with an open palm and you can get some really good results with those without having well not without having any risks but having a much lower risk of breaking your arm or damaging your arm especially like when we talk about cases of self-defense where many people they know usually don't attack you on their own right so i've heard some MMA guys talking about how they will be like, I'd rather break my hand on somebody's face than just kind of like, do whatever. Right, well, we don't want to be breaking our hands on anybody's faces. <laughs> what we do want is keep ourselves safe, be able to do a couple of strikes and hopefully get away. Right, and in my not so humble opinion but personal nevertheless learning the strikes the same strikes you would do in boxing so the same boxing strikes but learning to do them with an open palm is gonna open a whole new world of opportunities whether it's in self-defense whether it's in training safer right and whether it's simply having fun okay so i hope this video works out fine because obviously i'm in, the, in not in my private gym so the music is not under my control and i hope it doesn't kill the sound for us i'll come i'm gonna post this video and i hope you enjoy it and i hope we learn something from each other all right thank you very much goodbye